Welcome to The Great Show of Greyhounds. My name is Brian, this is Olive, and in this episode, we're going to explain how using a muzzle can be a positive experience for a greyhound. Most greyhounds come with their kennel muzzle when they retire from racing and are adopted out. So let's do a quick demonstration on how to put this thing on. By loosening this buckle, I can adjust this strap to fit the size of my greyhound's head. I want to allow enough room for her long snout to comfortably fit. If her nose is smashed into the end of the muzzle, then she'll be difficult about wearing it, and I definitely don't want that. In all the examples I'm going to go over today, none of them are punishments. So I want to make sure she's not upset about wearing it. Sometimes it's confusing to know which way this goes on. The solid piece rests on top of the snout with the basket hanging below the jaw. This strap, once sized, hooks behind the ears. It doesn't need to be rebuckled each time. It's easy to slide over, but it would be difficult for Olive to force off. Now we have had one or two fosters that could get it off, so we loop their old racing collar through the muzzle strap to prevent it from being pulled off. Okay, so now that we know how to put it on, why would I muzzle them anyway? Well, have you ever heard the expression that greyhounds have tissue paper like skin? Because that expression is absolutely accurate. If you subscribe to this YouTube channel and have followed the show for a while, then you'll know I've done several first aid videos where we have to patch up a greyhound who's torn himself open. Racing greyhounds always wear their kennel muzzles when they are turned out, so they're very used to it. Just like any other breed of dog, greyhounds sometimes have mouthy play, but unlike other breeds, a greyhound's thin skin has the potential to be torn open by an accidental bite. The muzzle is even more important on the track, as sometimes they will nip each other when their competitive nature is excited. This is probably the biggest reason for muzzling. It's just safety in numbers. We foster for Heartland Greyhound adoption, and when we get a dog haul in, we may have a dozen or so at a time. And while we're figuring out which dog is going to which foster home, they're all just running around the backyard and playing. Muzzling keeps everyone safe. Now for you, the viewer who does not have a dozen greyhounds running around, maybe just the one or two, this might not be the highest priority reason for you to muzzle. Though if you decided to get another pet, then muzzling would be a good idea during introductions. You know, like in case they don't get along at first. Especially if it's a cat or a smaller dog. Now it doesn't matter how many greys I have, if I'm transporting more than one in a vehicle, it is extremely important that I muzzle them. Space is limited, and it is very likely that one of them will step on the other. If they are muzzled, then they can't hurt each other if the one who got stepped on gets a little grumpy about it. Muzzling a dog around young children can be beneficial for both parties. Children obviously love to touch furry animals, but they may not be able to fully understand how to not upset a dog while interacting with it. A child is safe from a muzzled dog who may end up reacting defensively. If a child is bitten by a dog and requires medical attention, then a hospital may be required by law to report it so that animal control can verify that the dog's vaccinations are up to date. Not only is a muzzled dog less capable of biting a child, but it's also less likely to be euthanized later on out of concern that it might be dangerous. This one really goes both ways. I feel that it makes sure that both child and dog are safe from each other. If a dog is biting or snapping a lot, then it may be worth going into the vet to see if there's some sort of underlying issue that's causing the dog to lash out, like some sort of chronic pain. Muzzles do a lot more than just prevent a dog from biting, of course. They can also keep a dog who's anxious or just bored from damaging property. If I had used a muzzle with one of our earlier fosters, then I probably could have prevented him from chewing up the TV remote. An add-on accessory that I have is called a stool guard, and it can be cable tied to the inside of a muzzle. The holes where these cable ties go will allow the dog to still drink water, so no worries there. Its purpose is to prevent snacking in the backyard. Hashtag gross out. I have had to wash smashed poop off of the end of this thing, but it did make the attempt to eat it unsuccessful, so I call that winning. Another very good reason to muzzle is to keep a dog from aggravating an injury. Dogs will usually try to lick a wound or chew on bandages, and the muzzle can be a barrier that will allow that site time to heal. Using a stool guard, or even just covering the muzzle with tape, can help prevent the dog from licking between the gaps in the basket. Regular viewers will know that Olive has hurt herself several times in the last year. 
so we are rather experienced in different ways of making the muzzle work for her. A less commonly witnessed but still important example of muzzling is with new moms for the safety of their puppies. I mean, hey, sometimes having kids can be stressful. I know that some days I just want to buy mine. <laughs> As I said earlier, greyhounds have been muzzled a lot during their racing career and are accustomed to wearing it. Over the years that we've been fostering for HGA, we've had several new adopters grimace at the idea of muzzling because they expect that the dog's going to find it to be unpleasant. And obviously the dog would rather not wear it, but they'll accept it. Hopefully today I have demonstrated how muzzling can be beneficial in keeping a greyhound safe. All right, so I know I just teased you a moment ago with these moms in muzzles. So in the next episode, we're gonna spend some time in the whelping barn with greyhound puppies. A link to that episode, as well as the previous, can be found on the right side of the screen. In addition to muzzling, I find that people knee jerk to the idea of crating their dog, but I feel it can be beneficial for dealing with anxiety. So I've linked to a video that I made about that down here. Next is a link to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you can also follow us on social media at Great Show. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.